Hi everyone, in this video we will discuss about the array command in Revit, uh, what kind of array commands we have in Revit and uh, how we can use that one and how it is different with the copy command. Okay, so those kind of things we will discuss in this So first of all, I have model 1 uh, AML right there and uh, I wanted to use the array command for this one. Okay, so I select that one, I will go and modify tab, I can see the array command is right, th right there and if you are not finding the array command, so we have shortcut key for that one as well. That is A R. Just press A R. You can see the array symbol is right there. And if you are not getting that one, just press skip command and go at the array design. This is the array symbol. Click on that one. The, uh, this will work with the same thing. Okay. Now uh, because I did not select the element earlier, so what I need to do, I'll select the element after pressing the array command, and I'll press enter so that it can uh, you know can rectify yeah this is the element for which we need to run the array okay now right here uh, we can see this particular uh, line all right there are a lot of options for the array command, okay so there are two options for the array command first of all we need to know that uh, the first type of array command is linear second one is uh, radial we'll discuss uh, about both the things as you can understand uh, with the linear and the symbol as well that means it will create the array in a single line whether it is uh, horizontal vertical or at any angle okay it will go uh, with the with the single uh, line only okay what about the radial as radial represents the uh, you know circular kind of um, uh, periphery kind of thing we can do in this one as well so we'll discuss uh, each and every command of array so let's start first of all we'll go with the linear array so this is the array terminal and i, I want to uh, run the array command for this one so that it, uh, so that I can map 5 a double with this one. So I'll press the number right there 5 because I want to do uh, make 5 copies of this particular array of a double. Okay, and now right now we can see move to last, uh, second sorry, second and last. What does it mean? We'll discuss uh, about the points for this one. So right now. I'll click on second because I want to make the distance till second from the set of it. Okay, what does it mean? If I I want uh, I'll just click right there and I want to array the second array of till four thousand mm. Then I will press four thousand and I'll enter. Okay, it means it has arrayed the array at the four new places by 5000 uh, sorry by 4000 mm that i have given to it uh, that just place the distance to second okay not to the last to second by 4000 mm. so if i press ei command for the dimension you can see this is 4000 and it will be 4000 for each a terminal because each and a terminal will be the second to another one correct so this is the 4000 mm distance for each but for example, uh, I'll go, I'll just select all instances. Okay, one thing I wanted to tell right there. For example, I'll select any of the item right now. This is model 12, okay? Because after running the array command, the item element will be converted to the model group. And uh, as, as of now, uh, all these five are uh, interconnected. How we can say that thing? For example, you wanted 10 item instead of 5 so what you can do you can click on 5 plus 10 now it will be 10 similarly if you want 100 it will be 100 like if you are going with the copy command uh, you need to uh, you know uh, copy one by one that will take a lot of time so this is the difference in between array command and uh, the copy command but for example you do not want 100 or not 50 or not 10 you wanted only 3 so what I will do I will click on 3 and it will be 300 with the same distance okay so that is very useful feature of error that is why we use error instead of copy command if you are going with a uh, broader picture okay uh, what, what 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 are the another features of this one please do not ungroup any element if you are running the error command uh, please uh, do not ungroup the elements uh, before you are 100 percent sure that you do not need any kind of modification in the error command because if you are ungrouping the elements, uh, the array feature will be uh, gone at the moment. Then you cannot see this quantity changing feature anymore. 
Now each and every terminal will be individual error terminals. It will be not interconnected. Uh, why I'm saying this one? For example, I'll select, right click, select all instances and visible in view, and ungroup them. Now you can see each and every symbol is a uh, different one. We can move this one anywhere, uh, wherever I want to move. Okay, so I'll delete that one as of now. And uh, what about the last one? So I'll delete this one as well. So I want this add the terminal, and I want to use the uh, the last option of move. And what is the difference in between these two? So I select that one. Select add a command. I'll go with the linear. And I'll go with the five quantity again, but I'll go with the move to for last. Okay, what does it mean? It means if I I want to uh, array this array terminal uh, at five places, it means at four new places. Okay, what I'll do is that I'll highlight my last array terminal distance. Okay, from this one. So I'm just highlighting right here. Thirty thirty thousand and um, distance from my first one, so it will calculate the distance accordingly. This one, the last one will be thirty thousand, and it will calculate uh, the between distance accordingly. That uh, as per the quantity of the terminals, how many terminals you want to place. Uh, for example, if I divide it, uh, if I divide this thirty thousand by this distance, it means one, two. Three and four uh, distance will be right there, and uh, for this thirty thousand, it means thirty thousand divided by four will be uh, the distance in between these two terminals. Okay, uh, the rabbit will automatically calculate that. Thing. So this is our uh, what we can say um, uh, linear array command. Now we'll move on for the radial array. So I'll select all instances visible in view and ungroup this one because we are going for another command. Okay. So now I want to rotate, or I want to create a periphery um, of air terminals uh, of this uh, uh, for for this air terminal. It means for this air terminal, I want to create a peripheral air terminals outside of this one. Okay. Uh, so for example, I select this air terminal because I want to array this air terminal, radial array this air terminal. Uh, at the periphery of this atom, okay, at the circular periphery, I'm talking about. So how I can do that thing? I'll select this one. I'll go with the uh, radial array command. Select the radial array, but I wanted to move this point till right there because I wanted to rotate uh, by this uh, from from this point. Okay. So what I'll do? I'll click on place. And I'll place my rotational axis from right there, and I can rotate um, surrounding to it. Okay, now I'll place the angle. How much angle I want to give? So I'll give four five degree angle for each and every uh, air terminal. Okay, so it will place one air terminal right there, one at the forty five degree, one at the forty five degree like that. Okay, and uh, because I know we all know that uh, the circular periphery will be at three sixty degree angle, correct? So three sixty divided by forty five. How many terminals we are getting is eight. So I'll place right there eight. So it will place the eight terminals so that we can complete a full circle of the eight terminals. Okay. So what I'll do, I'll simply click right there and I'll press the forty-five degree as well and enter. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Uh, because I was at the last. So what I what it did, it has placed first eight terminal right there and uh, the last at the forty-five degree. So I'll control Z. Again, I'll click this one. Click on for the error command. Let's hit right there. Move to second so that it will take the second uh, air terminal uh, angle of 45 degree. And I want to place eight air terminals. Okay, this one 45 degree. Enter. Now you can see it has placed all eight air terminals right there. Got it now. So that is how we can, um, you know, uh, utilize the array command and uh, the linear array or the radial array, and that is how we can perfectly align each and every point. For example, I want to move uh, this distance uh, by, for example, twenty. Oh, sorry, not twenty. Uh, for example, two thousand because twenty is very minimal. It will overlap with each other. So I want to do. 
move this air terminal from uh, 7500 that was earlier to 2000 all the circular all the uh, arrays uh, all the air terminals will be at the 2000 mm distance so that is very unique and best feature of array it will not be visible for copy command we need to move each and every one by memory so that is how we can use the array command at the pro level and uh, i hope you understand uh, use of a recommend so that's all about this video guys thanks for watching this one let's meet in my next video